Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my top six favorite bathing garden scents. Now these are just ones that I pulled out of my collection that I currently have. My bathing garden collection has sized down quite a bit just because I wasn't buying bathing garden for a long time. You won't see a lot of Halloween or Christmas in here just because, to be honest, I kind of get spoiled from other vendors with Halloween and Christmas. I don't, you know, I don't love all the bathing garden Halloween and Christmas scents. Like, there's just not a lot that I remember from years past. The ones that I have are mostly like summertime. Yeah, I think they're mostly like summertime. Ones, now, all of these I have warmed before and I, you know, I've, I'm familiar with them and what have you. So, this first one is kind of a surprise for me, one that I never thought I'd like. This is Salty Siren. And I don't have a scent description on this one, but this is basically a margarita scent. I never in a million years thought I would be liking a margarita scent. But this one is just really good. It's kind of got that fizziness of a, well, even though margarita is not really fizzy, but it smells kind of like a fizzy pop kind of thing going on there. This one was just so good warmed. It was like the perfect margarita scent. One of the best that I have smelled or come across. I haven't warmed a margarita scent before that one because honestly, I never liked them, but that one, Salty Siren, is really good. Big Top Lemonade is pretty basic, but I still, it's still one of my favorites just because there's something just a little bit different about it from other vendors. Of course, I grabbed the one that doesn't have a scent description. Anyways, it's Pink Lemonade and Lemonade. And that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get it out. I mean, this is a pretty basic lemonade, except that it's got that addition of the pink lemonade to it, which I think makes it stand out a little bit more than, than other just base, your basic lemonades, but I really like that one. I really love this lemon curd and rose milk. I think this one is really special. I warmed this in my daughter's bathroom. Well, I've warmed it a few times, but I warmed it just recently. And that rose milk is super creamy. That lemon curd is super tangy. And just the two mixed together is just really special. You have to like lemon curd though, and you have to like... See now the rose in here, she has something special going on with her rose scent. It's like a very like sweet rose. It's not like a flower rose at all. So I really like that one. The next one I have is Take Me to the Sea. And this one I've liked since she did the Take Me to the Sea collection. There's a few out of there that I really like. They are a little bit on the lighter side, I find. I, I warmed through a bunch of them last summer, I think, or the summer before, I can't remember. Uh, oh, dang. Of course, I don't have a scent description. But I think this is something like Ocean Air... Uh, let's see, ocean air, driftwood, I don't know. <laughs> That's helpful. Yeah, it's just, it's like a salty sea air, but amped up like by 10. It's more than salty sea air to me. So that one is just really nice. Actually, I warmed that one pretty recently. I think, was it in my warm reviews for bathing gardens? So if you go a few videos back for my vendor of the week, I think I warmed that one in. I probably talk about it more. Venetian Spa. This one is really special. This one is, I want to say olive, watercress, something else. I don't have the scent notes for it, but that's pretty much it. Olive and watercress. This one is just such a unique scent. It's kind of fresh. It's like the different, like it's the most different fresh scent I've ever smelled. It's, it's kind of sharp a little bit with that olive, or maybe it's the watercress, I'm not really sure. It's got like a sharpness to it, but it is just, it's one of my favorites. It's really unique. I've never smelled anything like this from any, any other vendor. Just really, really good. I love this one in the kitchen or even the bathroom. That one would go really well. And the last one I have is clowning around because a lot of people make circus concession type Sense, and I believe this is a circus concession type. However, I think it's very different from other circus concessions that are out there. This one is salty and sweet popcorn, seven layer cake with blue cotton candy 
and toffee dipped apples. I think what makes this one different is the blue cotton candy and I think toffee dipped apples. I think it's usually like caramel apples. So here's what this one looks like. Super cute, she did. I've never seen, I don't think the apple has ever had like glitter on it. It's so fun, right? This one to me is just, there's something special about the blue cotton candy and the cake. Then you get the salty and sweet popcorn. I mean, she nailed this one. This to me is like an amped up circus concession. It's a little different from everybody else, I think. So that is it. So I have a ton more that I really do like. There's quite a few from the Alice collection that I like, like Painting the Roses Red, the circus one. I like Ringmaster's Paramore, Dancing Elephants. I like Magician's Bonfire. I think I do like some from the Halloween, but I don't really think, I think I made a super small order this year. I don't think I made a big order like I have in the past. Yeah, I'm trying to think and I can't think of any other ones at the moment. But yeah, those are my favorite uh, that I have in my collection right now. So I just thought I'd do this quick little video. And since, especially since summer's coming up and these will be coming up, and the circus one is on the site now, so you can get that one. I don't think you can get the rose milk and lemon curd anymore, but I think that was like the last go around, like January, February. So anyways, okay, thank you so much, you guys. I will be back with my favorite VCS scents. My top five, probably. Yeah, I'll try to keep it to my top five. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, if you have a favorite bathing garden scent, let me know down below. I always love to know. I bet I can guess what somebody's is. Uh, Jack's Apple Frost. Who is that? Speak up. <laughs> okay, talk to you guys later. Why can't I say bye? <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye.